September 2020 marked a milestone most aviation experts thought impossible. An engine so massive it requires structural reinforcement just to test on the ground received certification. Its fan diameter exceeds 11 feet. The thrust output surpasses anything flying commercially today. What GE Aerospace built for Boeing 777X defies conventional engineering limits. In 2020, GE Aerospace achieved Federal Aviation Administration certification for the largest jet engine ever built. The GE-9X measures 134 inches in fan diameter and produces 110,000 pounds of thrust at sea level. This engine powers the Boeing 777X, a wide-body aircraft designed to replace aging 777 and 747 fleets. The GE-9X entered service in 2024 after years of rigorous testing and validation. What makes this power plant a technological leap rather than an incremental upgrade lies in its materials, architecture, and fuel performance. The GE-9X fan contains 16 fourth-generation carbon fiber composite blades. Each blade measures over 11 feet in length and weighs approximately 50 pounds less than comparable titanium designs. The fan case is constructed from carbon fiber composite material, reducing overall engine weight by 350 pounds compared to metallic alternatives. GE Aerospace reports the engine delivers a 10% improvement in fuel consumption versus the GE 9115B, the previous record holder for thrust output. This translates to measurable cost savings for airlines operating long-haul routes across the Pacific and Atlantic. The combustor section incorporates a lean burn design that reduces nitrogen oxide emissions by 20% compared to prior generation engines. The high-pressure turbine employs ceramic matrix composites in its shrouds and rear frame. These CMC components tolerate operating temperatures 500 degrees Fahrenheit higher than traditional nickel-based superalloys. According to GE Aerospace, Ceramic matrix composites are one-third the weight of metal while maintaining structural integrity at extreme heat levels. The application of CMCS allows the engine to run hotter and more efficiently without requiring additional cooling air, which typically reduces performance. GE Aerospace manufactures certain fuel nozzles and heat exchangers using additive manufacturing techniques. The company has produced more than 300 3D printed parts for the GE9X program. These components feature complex internal geometries impossible to achieve through conventional machining. One fuel nozzle replaces 20 separate pieces previously welded together, reducing assembly time and potential failure points. The 3D printed parts also weigh less, contributing to the engine's overall mass reduction target. The low-pressure turbine contains six stages and measures 11 feet in diameter. GE Aerospace engineered this section to extract maximum energy from exhaust gases while maintaining durability across tens of thousands of flight cycles. The compressor features an 11-stage design with advanced aerodynamics to increase pressure ratios and improve thermal efficiency. Ted Engling, general manager of the GE-9X program, stated in 2020, the GE-9X is the culmination of the most comprehensive test program in GE history. Boeing designed the 777X with the GE-9X as its exclusive engine option. The aircraft's composite wing spans 235 feet and includes folding wingtips to fit existing airport gates. The 777-9 variant seats between 384 and 426 passengers in a typical two-class configuration and has a range of 7,285 nautical miles. The smaller 7778 offers seating for 340 to 375 passengers with a range exceeding 8,700 nautical miles. Airlines have ordered more than 450 units of the 777X family, with operators including Emirates, Cater Airways, Lufthansa, and Singapore Airlines. Flight testing for the GE-9X began in March 2018 aboard a modified Boeing 747 flying testbed. The engine accumulated thousands of hours across ground and flight tests before certification. 
In January 2020, the engine completed ice crystal icing tests at GE's facility in Winnipeg, Canada, where it ingested synthetic ice particles to validate anti-icing systems. The engine also underwent bird strike tests, fan blade out tests, and extreme crosswind evaluations to meet FAA requirements. The GE9X operates at a bypass ratio of 10 to 1, meaning 10 times more air flows around the core than through it. This high bypass ratio reduces noise and increases propulsive efficiency. GE Aerospace reports the engine produces noise levels significantly below International Civil Aviation Organization. Chapter 14 Standards The quieter operation benefits airlines flying into noise-restricted airports particularly in Europe and Asia. Technologies developed for the GE9X are migrating to other engine programs. GE Aerospace plans to incorporate ceramic matrix composites into future narrow-body engines targeting aircraft like the Airbus A320neo and Boeing 737 MAX successors. The company's RISE program, launched in partnership with Safran Aircraft Engines, aims to deliver engines with 20% lower fuel consumption than current models by the early 2030s. Many RISE technologies trace their origins to lessons learned during GE9X development and testing. Boeing delivered the first 777 to Emirates in June 2025 after receiving FAA type certification earlier that year. The aircraft entered commercial service in August 2025 on Emirates's Dubai to London route. Qatar Airways received its first 777-9 in October 2025 and deployed the aircraft on Doha to Los Angeles flights. Initial operator feedback indicates the GE9X delivers fuel burn improvements consistent with GE Aerospace's projections, validating the engine's performance claims. The GE9X represents the first commercial engine to use CMCS in hot section components at scale. This material breakthrough enables higher turbine inlet temperatures and improved thermal efficiency without proportional weight increases. Industry analysts note that ceramic matrix composites will likely become standard in future wide-body and narrow-body engines as manufacturing processes mature and costs decline. The GE9X serves as the proving ground for these materials in demanding commercial aviation applications. Boeing faces a new lawsuit, but this time, the person suing is not a passenger. Captain Brandon Fisher, the pilot who saved 177 lives when a door blew off at 16,000 feet, filed papers on December 30, 2025. He wants $10 million, and the reason for which he is asking will blow your mind. The door plug incident occurred six minutes after Flight 1282 departed Portland International Airport bound for Ontario, California. The Boeing 737 MAX 9 aircraft, registered as N704AL with serial number 67501, was only two months old at the time. The aircraft had accumulated 510 flight hours across 154 flights. Captain Fisher and First Officer Emily Whiprud safely landed the aircraft with all 171 passengers and six crew members. One flight attendant and seven passengers received minor injuries during the explosive decompression. Four passengers seated near the opening suffered injuries, but all aboard survived. The National Transportation Safety Board issued its final report on July 10, 2025 after a 17-month investigation. The NTSB determined the probable cause was Boeing's failure to provide adequate training, guidance, and oversight necessary to ensure manufacturing personnel could consistently and correctly comply with its parts removal process. Four bolts designed to prevent vertical movement of the left mid-exit door plug were missing before delivery of the airplane to Alaska Airlines. The bolts were removed when Boeing personnel opened the door plug on September 18, 2023 to perform rivet repair work on the fuselage at the Renton, Washington factory. The door plug was closed the following day without the securing hardware being reinstalled. The NTSB found that opening an MED plug required generation of a removal record to document that parts were removed and to specify tasks and quality assurance sign-offs required to ensure proper restoration. No removal record was generated. Boeing's business process instruction for performing parts removals lacked the clarity, conciseness, and ease of use necessary to be an effective tool for workers in the manufacturing process. 
No personnel experienced with opening or closing MED plugs were on duty at the times the accident airplane's left MED plug was opened and closed. No quality assurance inspection of the plug closure was performed. The lawsuit alleges Boeing made a statement on March 11, 2024 in federal court pleadings responding to a class action lawsuit brought by passenger Elna Berry and others. Boeing claimed it should not be held responsible for injuries because its products were improperly maintained or misused by persons and entities other than Boeing. Captain Fisher's lawsuit describes this statement as reprehensible and inaccurate. The complaint states Boeing knew this statement was false at the time it was made, but made it anyway as part of its post-accident strategy to blame pilots for incidents caused solely by its own actions. Multiple national and international news outlets reported on Boeing's statement in the days following March 11, 2024. The lawsuit claims Boeing's words were directed at Captain Fisher in an attempt to paint him as the scapegoat for Boeing's numerous failures. Two personal lawsuits were filed against Fisher following the media coverage. The pilot alleges this has inflicted severe emotional tolls, including anxiety and strained relationships while tarnishing his professional reputation in an industry where trust is paramount. The lawsuit states that Captain Fisher and First Officer Whiprud should have been hailed as heroes. The complaint alleges Boeing's actions have had a dramatic and life-altering impact on Captain Fisher. Fisher continues to fly for Alaska Airlines and lives in Vancouver, Washington. He has flown Boeing aircraft during his entire Alaska Airlines career. The lawsuit includes claims of negligence, strict products liability, breach of warranty, negligent training and supervision, negligent infliction of emotional distress, and defamation against Boeing. Claims against Spirit Aerosystems include negligence and products liability. Four flight attendants from Flight 1282 filed lawsuits against Boeing in July 2025 seeking compensation for physical and psychological injuries, including tinnitus and PTSD. Three Alaska Airlines passengers settled their $1 billion lawsuit against Boeing and the airline in July 2025. The settlement amount was not disclosed. Boeing previously paid $160 million in initial compensation to Alaska Airlines after the NTSB found Boeing at fault. The Federal Aviation Administration proposed a $3.1 million fine against Boeing on September 12, 2025 for safety violations that occurred between September 2023 and February 2024. The FAA identified hundreds of quality system violations at Boeing's 737 factory in Renton, Washington, and Spirit Aerosystems 737 factory in Wichita, Kansas. Boeing presented two unairworthy aircraft to the FAA for airworthiness certificates. A Boeing employee pressured another worker to sign off on a 737 MAX airplane to meet delivery schedules despite the aircraft not complying with standards. The incident prompted the Justice Department to open a criminal investigation and declare that Boeing was not in compliance with a 2021 Deferred Prosecution Agreement. That agreement allowed Boeing to avoid criminal prosecution for allegedly misleading regulators before the 2018 Lion Air and 2019 Ethiopian Airlines 737 MAX crashes that killed 346 people combined. The FAA grounded all 737 MAX 9 aircraft for two weeks and imposed a production cap of 38 aircraft per month through September 2025. The cap was raised to 42 aircraft per month in late 2025. Between January and November 2025, Boeing secured 908 net orders after cancellations. Airbus recorded 700 net orders during the same period. The European manufacturer's CEO, Guillaume Fowry, acknowledged on France Interradio that Boeing would likely win the annual order race for the first time in six years. Through November 30, 2025, Boeing accumulated 1,000 gross orders compared to Airbus's 797 gross orders. Boeing's order advantage stemmed largely from wide-body demand. The 787 Dreamliner recorded 351 orders through November, significantly outpacing the Airbus A330neo's 96 orders.